The book of Ephesians was originally written to the first century Christians that lived in the city of Ephesus. The church of Ephesus also appears in the third chapter of the book of Revelation, written by John the Apostle, who is believed to have spent his later years living in Ephesus with Mary, the mother of Jesus. In the first century AD, Ephesus was the largest city in the Roman province of Asia, even though it was not the capital of that province. It was a port city with a harbor at the mouth of the Caister River. Today, due to the silting of the river, the ruins of ancient Ephesus are around six miles from the path of the river. But originally, the harbor served as an anchor point for an extravagant road that led through the city to an extravagant theater. The road, called the Arcadian Way, was 105 feet wide and was lined on either side by rows of columns 50 feet deep that opened up to public baths and buildings. The theater at the end of the Arcadian Way is estimated to have seated 25,000 people at a time, yet this is still not what Ephesus was most famous for. It housed one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, an all-granite temple to Artemis, also called Diana. This temple had been rebuilt after a fire in 356 BC, and it boasted a structure of 127 200 feet tall granite pillars and a lavish idol statue of the Greek goddess. The economic influences of this famous temple are clearly seen in the book of Acts chapter 19, when Paul, converting many to Christianity, is the cause of a riot. Paul spent around three years in Ephesus before leaving his protege Timothy here to continue strengthening Christians in the city.